Hilary Duff is an American actress, singer, author, and businesswoman. She is the recipient of various accolades, including seven Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards, four Teen Choice Awards, and two Young Artist Awards. Born, September 28, 1987, age 36 years, Houston, Texas, United States. Spouse, Matthew Coma, M., 2019, Mike Comrie, M., 2010-2016. Children, 4. Parents, Susan Colleen Duff, Robert Duff. Siblings, Haley Duff. Awards, full list. Hillary Duff net worth $25 million. Early life. Hillary Earhart Duff was born on September 28, 1987, in Houston, Texas. Her parents are Robert Earhart Duff a partner in a chain of convenience stores, and Susan Colleen Duff, Nay Cobb, a homemaker turned film and music producer. Duff has one older sister named Haley. She was raised between Houston and San Antonio, the locations of her father's convenience stores. Encouraged by their mother, both Hillary and her sister enrolled in acting, singing, and ballet classes. The siblings earned roles in local theater productions, and later participated in a touring ballet map production of The Nutcracker in San Antonio. Increasingly interested in the pursuit of show business, the Duff sisters and their mother moved to California in 1993, while their father stayed in Houston to take care of his business. The sisters auditioned for several years and were cast in many television commercials. Due to her acting career, Duff was homeschooled from the age of eight. The pair also modeled for various clothing brands. Duff stated, My sister and I really showed an interest in and dedication, and was like, how can I tell my kids no? It's the same as kids that are going into sports. Parents support them and push them. Career 1993-1999, Career Beginnings during her initial acting years, Duff primarily played minor roles, such as her uncredited part in the Hallmark Entertainment Western miniseries True Women, 1997, and as an uncredited extra in the ensemble comedy drama Playing by Heart, 1998. The same year, Duff landed her first major role as Wendy in Casper Meets Wendy, based on the Harvey Comics characters. After appearing in the supporting role of Ellie in the television film The Soul Collector, 1999, Duff received a Young Artist Award for Best Performance in a TV Movie or Pilot, Supporting Young Actress. In March 2000, Duff appeared as a sick child in the CBS medical drama series Chicago Hope. She was next cast as one of the children in the pilot episode of the NBC comedy series Daddio. Her Daddio co-star Michael Chiklis stated, After working with her the first day, I remember saying to my wife, This young girl is gonna be a movie star. She was completely at ease with herself and comfortable in her own skin. However, producers dropped Duff from the cast prior to the airing of the show. 2000-2003, Mainstream Success, Lizzie McGuire, and Metamorphosis A week after being dropped from Daddio, Duff landed the title role of a newly developed Disney Channel series, Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire premiered on January 12, 2001, and became a ratings hit with an estimated 2.3 million viewers per episode. Duff quickly became labeled as a teen idol and household name, particularly within the show's pre-teen adolescent target demographic. Disney began marketing the series through soundtracks, books, dolls, toys, and video games based on Duff's character, the company reportedly made an estimated $100 million from the show's merchandise alone. The actress was featured in the Game Boy Advance video games that were created for her Lizzie McGuire character. Duff made her feature film debut in Human Nature, 2002, in which she portrayed the younger version of Patricia Arquette's character. Duff also starred in the 2002 Disney Channel television film Cadet Kelly, which became the network's most-watched program in its then-19-year history. Duff began making appearances on various soundtracks for the Disney Channel, recording a cover of the Brooke McClemont song I Can't Wait for the Soundtrack to Lizzie McGuire. She later recorded a cover of The Tiki 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 Room for Disney Mania. Upon expressing interest in a music career, production on Duff's debut Christmas-themed album began. Santa Claus Lane was released in October 2002, peaking in the lower portion of the Billboard 200 chart in the United States. The album was initially distributed through Walt Disney Records, with Buena Vista later re-releasing the project. 
It went on to receive a gold certification from the Recording Industry Association of America, RIA, for shipments exceeding 500,000 copies. The album was initially only released in North America, but received numerous re-releases in the following years. Duff later signed a recording contract with Andre Reck of Hollywood Records to release future recordings. Though her early music recordings garnered much success on Radio Disney, Rec and Buena Vista Records envisioned Duff appealing to a more mature audience. Duff released her second studio album, Metamorphosis, in August 2003. The album received mixed reviews from contemporary music critics, but went on to reach the top of the Billboard 200 chart in the United States. The album became a major hit for Duff, selling over 5 million copies within its first two years of release. The album sold over 3 million copies in the United States, becoming her highest-selling album to date and earning a three-times platinum certification from the RIA. The album spawned the successful singles So Yesterday and Come Clean. So Yesterday achieved platinum status in Australia and Come Clean received a gold certification from the RIA in the United States. Come Clean was used as the theme song to the MTV series Laguna Beach, The Real Orange County. Metamorphosis earned Duff multiple awards and nominations following its release. Duff further promoted the album with the Metamorphosis tour that ran from November to December 2003. Later that year, Duff co-starred as one of the 12 children of Steve Martin and Bonnie Hunt in the family comedy Cheaper by the Dozen, which remains her highest-grossing film to date. Slant Magazine reviewer Nick Shaker wrote that Duff does nothing more than look perky and stylish. Personal Life Relationships. In 2001, it was confirmed that Duff was in a relationship with fellow teen star Aaron Carter. He later guest starred in an episode of Lizzie McGuire with Duff. The relationship garnered media attention with reports of a love triangle between Duff, Carter, and actress Lindsay Lohan. Duff and Carter continued an on again off again relationship for three years, before ultimately ending their relationship. Duff began dating Canadian National Hockey League NHL, player Mike Comrie in 2007. Duff and Comrie announced their engagement in February 2010 and married on August 14, 2010, in Santa Barbara, California. Duff announced her pregnancy in 2011 and gave birth to their son on March 20, 2012. On January 10, 2014, Duff and Comrie announced that they had amicably separated and would continue to co-parent their son. In February 2015, Duff filed for divorce from Comrie, citing irreconcilable differences, and requesting primary physical and legal joint child custody of their son. The divorce was finalized in February 2016. Following her split from Comrie, Duff dated personal sports trainer Jason Walsh from August 2015 until November 2016. She also briefly dated businessman Ely Sandvik in the summer of 2017, when she and Coma took a temporary break from their relationship. Duff began dating singer-songwriter Matthew Coma in January 2017. They worked together for her 2015 album Breathe In. Breathe Out, the title track is a track he co-wrote and produced. They announced she was pregnant with their first child together, a girl, on June 8, 2018. On October 25, 2018, Duff gave birth to their first daughter. Duff and Coma then became engaged in May 2019 and were married on December 21, 2019. On October 24, 2020, Duff announced her third pregnancy via Instagram. On March 24, 2021, the couple's second child together, also a daughter, was born. On December 12, 2023, Duff announced her fourth pregnancy. On May 3, 2024, the couple's third child together, also a daughter, was born.